go back inside. I'll, I'll bring you outside in a few minutes, buddy. I'm trying to see the video. No, I don't need help on this one. Um, so what's going on y'all? Thanks for tuning in. Gizmo Pickleball here. Um, so you, as you can see behind me with the wood, no, nope, that's the dog. Uh, the wood is that way. Um, we're here on Pickleball Farm and I am using the free wood that I've got, uh, that I've been picking up from Facebook to, uh, I'm going to split wood and I'm going to sell it and I'm going to use the funds to build pickleball courts here on Pickleball Farm so I can teach kids clinics and, and stuff like that. Um, I needed a log splitter. So um, a friend had one that uh, the motor was missing and I was gonna replace it and uh, I couldn't find a direct bolt motor and I'm not the handiest guy. So um, I ended up just, uh, I mean, I, had to, I bought the motor for it and everything, but um, I, I wasn't gonna waste my time with it. So I took that back. And another friend had one that was an electric log splitter um, that had some issues. And I, if I was trying to get it done anytime this year, um, it just wasn't gonna work. So uh, I went ahead and did some, some research online and I found, um, well, let me start here. I originally went with the um, Harbor Freight 20 ton log splitter. I think I found it online for 679. Um, so I drove down to the store to only find out that it's an online only order. Um, so I said, okay, I ordered it, but they, they didn't ship it. They won't ship it to the store for free. Uh, it's an extra hundred dollars shipping because it's got to get delivered by tractor trailer. Uh, we live down a dirt road. Uh, it, it just, you know, and it was only a horizontal splitter, uh, meaning every log that it split, we have to lift up and put on it. Not such a big deal on the smaller logs. Once you get to the bigger, heavier rounds, you know, closer to the bottom of the big stumps, um, you know, having a horizontal and vertical definitely uh, is worth its weight in gold. So um, we ended up, uh, you know, getting that uh, returned. And I found on Northern Tool, they have a um, Power Horse 22 ton. Like I said, so for Harbor Freight, it would have been 679 plus uh, 100 bucks shipping and taxes. I think it was like 812. I found this one, and you still had to put it together. I found this one from Northern Tool for 899. Uh, in store it was 999. Online they had it for 899. And uh, I'm like, and it does horizontal and vertical. So I said, you know what? For you know less than 100 extra bucks, I might as well get one that does horizontal and vertical. And it's an extra two tons of more, uh, of more pressure. So I went to Northern Tool. Um, they had a store model that was put together in the store. Um, and I said, hey, uh, is, is it possible to get the store model? Because, uh, you know, I didn't want to put it together because I'm not the handiest of guys. Uh, but they said, yeah, well, you know, it's an extra 180 bucks if you want the one that's put together. And I'm just like, whew. So I'm like, uh, you know, I'm going back and forth thinking about, you know, the feasibility of me actually being able to put this thing together by myself. Um, so I was leaning more towards getting the one that's put together. So the, the, the store clerk is like, you know what, let me go look in the back just to make sure we've got it. It says we got it in the system. He comes back. He says, yo, I'm going to cut you an even better deal. I say, what's up? And he's like, we had one that was put together because a customer paid for it to be put together, but I guess it never came and picked it up or never came and paid for it, whatever the case may be. Uh, the manager says that we're just trying to get rid of it. You know, it's been sitting out back. We'll give you 10% off extra because it's already put together. And I'm just, or, you know, because it's a guy, it basically is taking up space. So I'm like, okay, cool. So not only are they, not only did they drop the hundred dollars for the in-store price to match their own online store price, $8.99, they also took an extra 10% off, which made it 809. And I didn't have to pay the extra 175 for installation. Literally, the guy's like, all right, uh, yeah, just pull around back um, and it's already put together and I'll load it up to your trailer. I, I, I mean, can't beat that. So ended up getting this for 809 and then I needed uh, two five gallon jugs. I think they were 50 bucks a piece. Uh, you know, I did get the two year warranty plan, but um, 
I mean, I feel like this is a pretty big ticket item not to get a warranty on it. Uh, but I'm definitely excited. So um, I've put oil in it um, and I've put hydraulic fluid in it. Um, so with the hydraulic fluid, I put in five gallons and it looks topped off, but I'm assuming that, because in the manual it says it takes six, I'm assuming that once I run it, once the extra hydraulic fluid is taken up in the in the pump in the pipes that uh, I may need to top it off with that extra gallon so I'll definitely let you know that um, Bruh, get over here. Bruh. All right, disconnect the spark plug wire from the spark plug. We did that. Pull on the starter grip recoil at least 20 times so the hydraulic fluid has cycled through the pump. All right, I've done that. So 20 times. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Bro, get over here.
Now I'm gonna put fuel into the engine or the motor. And this is fresh gas that I just got recently. You don't want to put old gas in uh, as it tends to break down and make uh, it may mess up. Alright, replace the cap, make sure that we're not cross-threading. Start engine and use control valve handle to extend and retract wedge five times to remove air from high pressure lines. So actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna return it into the horizontal position so that hopefully it can give you a better view. That's done simply by doing that. And lifting, pulling this back. And locking back into place. Now it can't go back up into the uh, vertical position. So, turn the engine button to on. Put the choke on.
simple. Uh, to start engine and use control valve to extend and retract wedge five times to remove air from high pressure line. With wedge retracted, check oil level again. So it's retracted. Now I'm gonna check the, the reservoir level. Uh, one of the key things that they definitely said when you're checking the oil reservoir level or the, the hydraulic fluid reservoir level You want to completely unscrew it and just sit it in there um, You don't want to screw it all the way down and use that as your your checking measure So um, I can definitely see that the uh, fluid level has gone down. I'm gonna uh, Wipe it clean and just gonna do a check. So I've got There's that Alright, this hydraulic fluid is very, very not good for you, so I'm trying to take as many precautions as I can. So I'm going to take the dipstick out, wipe it completely clean, and set it in there. I didn't twist it back down, and remove it. And it's in the ad, so I definitely need to add some. So, again, it only took five gallons initially. Once I ran it and went through the steps, it went down. So, as I suspected, this is where I'm going to add that additional gallon in. So, uh, that's what I'm getting ready to do now. Highly, 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 highly suggest using a uh, funnel. Now I'm going to pour what I presume to be another gallon of fluid in there. Uh, and then we'll recheck it to make sure we get the proper fluid level.
best to have two people at this point. Not even gonna lie. Don't think I'm there, but I'm gonna do another check. Needs a little more. All right, and our hydraulic fluid levels look good. Replace hydraulic oil fill cap vent. Run it again. That's tight. Tighten this all the way down. And be sure to wipe up any excess too. Um, turn the kill switch back on. Gas is on.
That's funny. That's I literally stopped it because I was getting ready to say, I'm getting ready to go get my wife to come outside to split the first piece. All right, I'm going to watch you split it. Ta-da! Go Yay! All right. Uh, let me check the... Uh, still recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me check the food. I'm having David put the water bottle because they're coming. Okay. Pretty sure we're spot on with the levels. Thank you, sir. You're not excited, are you? The red thing on your arm. Oh, we're perfect. Oh, and we are full. Yay. It uh, it stayed at the full mark. It did not go down. Have you cut any wood yet? No, oh, he's waiting for me. I'm gonna do one real quick, and then I gotta go back in. Okay. How much did it take? Uh, it took six gallons. Oh, so it so took five, but five filled that up, so I had to run it, run it through the hoses. All right. Yeah. Um, let me get bras back outside. No. Here comes the rest of your gang. Yeah. No, I'm talking about the turkey. Oh, the, the, the dude's here, too. Oh, wow. David, you put him in front of the closed door, right? I'll put them right next to the house. All right. This is our inaugural log right here. I think it's oak, I'm not sure, but we're gonna find out. Just gonna slide it right there. And I have my wife come. Oh, well, she's not gonna start it. It's okay. I'm gonna start it and I'm gonna run it. Uh, and if you didn't know, it's turkey mating season for my midget white turkey. My midget white turkey's going nuts. So, then there's that. And we got a water delivery. It's a lot going on right now. It's, it's too much going on. All right. Now I'm going to start it up. Or well, here, come start it up. Uh, it's okay, go ahead. Hey, turn it up. The on switch is on. Put it on choke. And it's on, so just pull it.
just yeah, it just blew through. Obviously, a smaller log, but uh, holy moly, I'm excited! Can't wait to get this thing into heavy production. Like I said, we're using the funds from this to build pickleball courts here at Pickleball Farm. Thanks for tuning in.